Okay, what is this? I, I, like, what the fuck is this? What the fuck? Hey guys, so today we're doing another movie commentary. We're gonna be watching X-Men, the original, from the year 2000. I love this movie. I love it so much. It is definitely one of my favorite X-Men movies. Like, I know it's cheesy, it's not the best one, but I think like nostalgia wise, how much like I quote it and know it, it's definitely up there. When I did a vote between X-Men and Age of Ultron, Age of Ultron did win, but there was a fair amount of votes for X-Men. So I'm excited to watch it. I feel like it could be fun. We shall see. It's been a while since I've watched it and it's gonna be like, as super big throwbacks so it should be interesting to see what I remember because I remember most stuff but not everything so it is back to Marvel Disney guys Fox is no longer Fox X-Men Fantastic Four they no longer have the rise to the characters I'm just thinking when are they going to replace Wolverine I really hope they just like leave it for a fair amount of time because I don't want to see a Wolverine Hugh Jackman is my Wolverine a lot of these characters are pretty iconic I mean Patrick Stewart Gandalf, they better cast the new people, like, so, so well. If they don't, I'm gonna be a bit disappointed. Oh, this is such a good opening. It's so, it is so depressing. If you had to list best openings, I feel like this one is, like, pretty up there. This is pretty much, like, black and white. How desaturated does this want to be? This is, oh my god, oh, oh, that's so sad. Shit, that is such great acting by this kid. Imagine acting in this pouring down rain, in the mud. How many takes and how many days would they be doing this over and over again? That would be exhausting. That would be so exhausting, filming that scene. Rogue, Marie, the not too distant future. Wait, distant future? This was, That was in 1944. How is this not distant future? the mums downstairs wait do they have the door closed she's like in high school right the mum and dad are putting some trust in her and in that guy is that a paquin from new zealand or she's not australian she's from new zealand right she pay plays sookie sookie <laughs> sookie 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 imagine if this is your first kiss and you fucking like nearly kill a guy <laughs> oh wow oh my god his eyes went white i think the american people deserve the right to decide whether they want their children to be in school with mutants, to be taught by mutants. This is actually a really good commentary on kind of life today. It can be applied to a lot of different things. I know it's not just America, like there are every other country as well that has like patriotic grand speeches in government and all this kind of shit. I'm very conflicted in that in like on in a political sense, like I've never Put any stance in any way of how I feel about certain things. That's so good. That reveal, the, the, like the shadow over his face. You can't see his face until he's like revealed, until he makes the turn. Oh, yes. Yes, Gandalf. Sorry, I'm just going to refer to him as Gandalf the whole movie. <laughs> I don't understand people who trust other people to hitchhike. Either the driver not trusting the passenger or the passenger not trusting the driver. Why would you do that? Oh, Hugh Jackman. Yes. Do you remember that scene in X2 where he's like fully, fully naked? Wait, does he have bruising on his back? Why does he have bruising on his back? He literally heals. That makes zero sense. As if she left her house without food, without money without anything to drink. Does he style his hair like that? Or does it naturally like sit like that? Imagine if Wolverine styled his hair every day to look like that. Oh, oh, ew, that looks so disgusting. Ew. I love the practical, like some of it's obviously CG, but I love the, the practical like blades. I think it looks pretty cool. I prefer it, no blood. We ain't gonna get Logan. This ain't like Logan. We're not gonna get blades going through skulls and blood everywhere. You can smoke as many cigarettes and like cigars as you want and he will never have any health issues at all. I would hate to like have his like immortality though. Being a vampire or any of that shit, I would hate it because I couldn't, 
I would not want to live forever. It would suck. It would totally suck. How would she know where he, what direction he's going? She's literally jumped into his trailer and she doesn't even know if he's going north, south, back to the US where he, like, what kind of logic is that? What is this? This looks like either chocolate or jerky or something. I've always been interested in what the fuck that food is. Like, what is that? You know, you should wear your seatbelt. Hey, look, kid, I don't need advice on all of this. <laughs> That's why you should put your seatbelt on. That's why you should put your seatbelt on. Car rules. Car safety rules. They are some huge mutton chops. They're called mutton chops, right? That's what they're called. Those sideburns. I swear, Logan really like puts in a lot of effort into his looks, into his hair and his like facial grooming. <laughs> Isn't Sabretooth meant to he be his brother? Isn't that in Origins that Wolf uh, that um Sabretooth is Wolverine's brother or something? I watched Origins ages ago. I did a commentary on it actually. Toad, is that what the what, what it's called? What he's called? I swear that's his name, right? That line with Storm later on. Oh, I just remember how cheesy it is. Oh my God, the dialogue. Ugh. When did he take Wolverine's necklace, chain, thing? When did that happen? Wow, wow. She literally, she, like, loves touching his body. Oh my God. Jean, settle down there. <laughs> Yeah, I hate having needles too. Hugh Jackman's commitment to his body for those 17 years is ridiculous. This is nothing compared to what he does what he does to himself after this movie. After this movie, he is just like so buff. Like he has zero carbs. No carbs. His whole diet is fucked. Where are you going? So Charles's voice right now, he's actually teaching the students in their class at the moment. Focus, focus. You have students to look after. That's a lot of lamps. That is so, they, that is so many lights along that hallway. That is a lot of electricity. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But there's just so many. I can't even count how many lights there are. Why do they need so many lights in this hallway? <laughs> oh my God, that kid has blue hair. Wait, is that a certain character? I don't know. I used to have blue hair. It's pretty awesome. Isn't that Ju... Ju no, not Jubilee. Jubilee? Is that the character's name? You know, Lana Condor... K Lana Condor plays her in Apocalypse? The continuity of this timeline makes fucking zero sense. <laughs> no sense whatsoever. I just... I can't. I can't. People must think that Cyclops is such like a dickhead and like a douchebag for wearing sunglasses inside. You know people that wear sunglasses inside, you're like, why the fuck are you wearing them? Sabretooth. Yeah, your brother. Storm. What do they call you? Wheels? <laughs> How the hell do they get funding for this? Like, where did Charles get all this money? He can't actually create fire. He has to have a match or a lighter to create, to like manipulate fire. That would be so annoying. That's a shitty power when you think about it. When I was 17, I met a young man named Eric Lenscher. When you were 17, you did not meet each other. You didn't meet each other when you were 17. You met each other when you was in the 70s. 60s, 70s, human rights against mutants. This is so fucked. I hate, I hate society. This makes me angry. Like this political shit makes me really frustrated. What right does it give you to control other people's like free will, their choices to expose the powers. Like imagine if their powers aren't even threatening, like they can't actually do anything harmful, but they have to expose themselves to everyone. Like I would, I would hate that. Like, yes, there's shitty people out there and there's dangerous people out there that are, would use their powers for wrong, but some people are just innocent. They can't control how they were born. Mystique, mystique. I think I prefer her mystique over Jennifer Lawrence's mystique. I just love that we see the villainous side to her. Imagine doing all of that like practical effects. Her whole outfit, all of that hair and makeup, that would take like so long. Imagine getting like doing it all on your boobs and like down there. Imagine doing that. That would do That'd be kind of awkward. I guess you would get used to it, right? Like if you're doing it, like getting all the makeup done all the time, you just, you can't get awkward about it. So, couldn't wait to get my shirt off again, huh? <laughs> Who doesn't want Hugh Jackman shirtless? <laughs> he has metal all through his body. 
They can't put him in one of those. Oh, well, I even though he's adamantium, does that get affected in, wait, an MRI? That's an MRI machine, right? Imagine if he seriously got fucked up. They put him into the MRI machine and he's just like, <laughs> something just goes completely wrong. Does he eat a pigeon or something? A bird? Ew, oh my God, that's so gross. Ew. <laughs> Ugh, yes, ugh. I love how they light Magneto. The shadow over his face, like in every single scene, has been like so intense, like the contrast. I love how menacing he looks. I love him as a villain. Like he's a great villain. Oh, 2000s, 2000s special effects. I was worried about this. <laughs> I was worried about watching this movie because of the special effects. That's why I like like some of the pra some of it is practical. I think that makes it better, but like mm -hmm. mm. I also have some telepathic ability. Well, like your professor? Nowhere near that powerful. But he's teaching me to develop. Develop her powers? Not a good idea. What are you doing, Charles? Not good. Not good. Love triangle. Love triangle. Can't believe what happens in Last Stand. Last Stand is fucking, there's like, what the fuck? Like, I don't understand what even, what even is that movie? What even happened? I'm sorry, but James, James Marsden, James Marsden, that's his name, right? You have nothing on Hugh Jackman. Cyclops has nothing on Wolverine. Why would she interrupt him in his sleep? Don't do that, Marie. Stop it. Stop it. Don't do that. Don't. It's stupid. Stop it. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> they look so ridiculous. Like Shooky's reaction and Logan's just like, help me. <laughs> I love the look of how she like drains people's like life force and takes their abilities. She causes them to have a seizure? Really? I didn't realize there was a seizure that she caused. Turn him on his side, move all dangerous objects away from his body. Be safe. That's what you do. Create, create a safe environment. This movie loves to shine light across people's faces and have like dark backgrounds. How have I never realized this? <laughs> oh my God, his eyes. It's like his eyes are gonna like pop out of his head, his skull, and it's gonna like explode. <laughs> Zoe has gone insane. Why does everyone have like capes? Or has Magneto's got like a half cape? He's trying to be all stylish. Ian McAllen has really good style. He has extremely big pupils. His pupils are like ginormous. So he doesn't have clothes, right? And now that he's forming, ew, oh my God, that's so disgusting. Oh my God, he's literally walking around nude on the beach. This week's UN summit with the leaders of over 200 nations. If this was like modern day, like this movie came out now, people would have their phones out all over the place. Like everyone would be filming the senator just like naked on the beach. <laughs> The yellow eyes, the yellow eyes, mystique, the yellow eyes. They love bright, like shiny lights, like spotlights. His bald head's very shiny. <laughs> because he helped me build it. No, he didn't. Hank built it. Hank built it. Beast built it. You didn't build it. Mm. If they're going to make new movies, if they're going to make prequels, why would they not watch and follow the continuity of the previous films. This effect does not look good. Oh no, oh, oh no, no, no. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> I know people were pissed that she took the cure in like the third film, but I would totally take it. Why would you not take it? I mean, you would have a normal life. I'm sorry about last night. Me too. Why is he apologizing to her? He didn't mean to do it. She's the one who got in the way and he didn't mean to stab her. Don't wake people up during nightmares, especially Logan. It's her fault. It's not your fault. The first boy I ever kissed ended up in a coma for three weeks. Oh, Jesus. Oh, imagine doing that to someone. That is like mortifying. You put someone into a coma because you kiss them. She must have really, really bad kissing skills. <laughs> so his eyes are black, her eyes are white. Mystiques are yellow. Everyone has colored eyes or weird eyes. We've got a demon. We've got Lilith and yellow eyes. They're all supernatural characters. <laughs> 
Imagine if he was a little lower and when he was being pushed back, he literally like decapitated someone <laughs> and cut off like the passengers heads. <laughs> I swear in every superhero movie, I can use the Edna no capes meme. Every single superhero movie has capes. It's so inconvenient. Listen to Edna. She knows what she's talking about. You push too hard, darling, but I accept. You homo sapiens and your guns. Gun control people. I don't understand people who don't need guns can easily get guns. Uh, it's, it's, it's a fucked up system. It's seriously fucked up. I feel like I'm getting really political in this commentary and I don't like it. I don't like getting political in this. It's fucking X-Men. What am I, why am I talking about gun control in an X-Men commentary? <laughs> what? <laughs> he called his bluff and that backfired. It seriously backfired. How did he know that Magneto wasn't going to stop the bullet from killing the dude? He didn't know that. Charles, that's messed up. That is seriously messed up. You can't play with people's lives like that. Oh, does he use water to style his hair? Is that what he uses? He doesn't use gel, he just uses water? Wow, that works for you. That seriously works for you, Logan. <laughs> you know, Magneto's right. There's a war coming. You sure you're on the right side? At least I've chosen a side. Halle Berry, her accent does not make sense as well. Her continuity for her accent doesn't make sense. She's like Wanda. If you want an accent, Start with an accent and keep the accent, or don't do it at all. Senator, I want you to try and relax. Try to relax. This will feel a little weird. He's so sweaty. Ew, no, gross. Don't touch me. I don't want your sweaty ass hands all over me. <laughs> it looks like the back of um, Professor Quirrell's head. <laughs> Voldemort's face. Oh my god, his eyes are open. His eyes, that's creepy. That is so creepy. That would freak me the fuck out. <laughs> oh my god, I hope the mic isn't picking up the banging next door that my neighbors are doing. They have been doing something out on the house all day. It's just bang, bang, bang. It's fucking annoying. <laughs> Toad is so weird. I don't like him. He's really awkward and like so campy. He's campy, that's what it is. That's a pretty cool way of like showing exposition. I like the whole moving of the map thing. It looks awesome. Who's controlling it though? They either did this prior to their meeting, someone like made this as a whole like setup, or it's being controlled by him when he's talking. How's that even work? You actually go outside in these things? What would you prefer? Yellow spandex? That's awesome. I love that. You know, referring to Wolverine's outfit in the comics. That's pretty meta. That's that's like on the nose. Cosmetically, her claws aren't adamantium, right? Right? His adamantium cut through her metal. Maybe? Maybe? Okay, what is this? I, I, like, what the fuck is this? What the fuck? I'm forgetting how campy this movie is. Oh, she's Catwoman too. Oh my god, I completely forgot Storm was Catwoman. I'm fine. I am fine. She can hold her breath for such a long time. I would have suffocated by now. <laughs> Even though they have like full body shots of her, like showing off her entire like physique, it doesn't feel sexualized. It doesn't feel like they're showing off her boobs and everything for like no reason. It's cool seeing the whole physicality of what she looks like because you want to show off all the practical makeup that they've done and hair and makeup. Do you know what I mean? Oh, here we go. Cheesy lines. Cheesy lines. You know what happens to a toad when it's struck by lightning? Wait for it. Wait for it. The same thing that happens to everything else. It's so stupid. <laughs> It's so stupid. <laughs> oh God. Just, no. <laughs> I love this. It's me. Prove it. You're a dick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's so good. Some of the dialogue is really like cringeworthy, but some of it is actually really funny. I think the banter between Cyclops and Wolverine is good. 
I think that's some some of the best dialogue. I saw him die. Like those people down there will die. You sure you saw what you saw? What kind of question is that? Of course she saw what she saw. He died in front of her. His sweaty hands, his sweaty wet hands just like exploded in her hand. Those fireworks are so disappointing. <laughs> Why are people like freaking out about those fireworks thinking that they're amazing? They're pretty shitty. <laughs> So full of shit. Has there been any other swear words? Shit, is that the first one? This is PG-13, right? So I'm assuming that they're allowed like one swear word. Yes. The fireworks are still going. Oh, what a pose. That's fucking awesome. That's such a good pose. That looks exactly like Black Panther. The ending of Black Panther. That looks exactly the same. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god, that is close. Imagine if he stabbed one of them just like straight through the face, straight through the skull, just like BAM. <laughs> Hang on to something. Her accent is so in and out. You know what I'm realizing? Superhero movies have so many fans. They must have ginormous fans just sitting in their warehouses. Oh, you're messing up Wolverine's hair. He styled that to perfection and you're messing it up. I'm not happy. I'm not happy with that. Oh, and now it's back to normal. <laughs> Magneto should be having a seizure right now. He should be on the ground having a seizure. And don't give me shit about seizures because I'm allowed to talk about seizures because I have epilepsy, okay? So you give me a free pass talking about seizures. No one give me shit being like, oh, that's so insensitive. Honestly, don't give a fuck. I'm allowed to. Oh my God, she's gotten the white hair. That's where she gets the white strip. It's very 2000s. It's very 2000s having like really strong, like intense contrast highlights in your hair. That was like a huge, huge trend in the 2000s. The continuity of the light, like her, the, on her face, it's soft. And now it's like super bright. The lighting is so not consistent. It's consistent, but it's not consistent. It is shiny. Their faces are so shiny. That's awesome. That looks awesome. It's finally blinked. Imagine acting that. I would hate to act that where you just leave your eyes open all the time. Those scenes where people like die or whatever and have their eyes like open for ages. I'm like, how do you not blink? Wouldn't your eyes just so get so irritated? Like, auto like it's automatic. It's in your, wait, what's the, what's the, what's the system? There's two types of systems. I learned it in psychology. Fuck. Tickles. <laughs> she just really loves to caress like Wolverine's skin, his body. Mystique. Son of a bitch. Oh, is that the second language? Son of a bitch! Oh, I like their relationship. It's cute. I don't know how chess even works. Yes, it's strategic, but I have no clue what the difference of a knight is, what a pawn, like a pawn. I'm too late, like lazy, but also impatient. I could not play that game. Like my brain would hurt too much. Why do you come here, Charles? Why do you ask questions to which you already know the answers? Sassy. The music's pretty good. Some of the sound effects and stuff in this movie is just like, what? But the score is pretty good. I like the music across this like trilogy. Brian Singer. Just no. <laughs> Uh, oh my god, my back, guys. Fuck. Oh my god. Executive producer Stan Lee. Stan Lee. It is edited by three people. Jeez, that would have been an effort. You can see my space buns again now. Oh, they're kind of falling down. They're not even. I'm not happy with my space buns today. They were a bit disappointing. <laughs> After seeing this movie, I kind of want to bring it down to maybe a Four? It's not a five star anymore, I don't think, for me. Which is disappointing because it's always been a five star for me. Logan is a five star for me. 
obviously. So yeah, those are my thoughts on Logan. That is our movie comment. Logan, no. Should I do a commentary on Logan? Tell me. Tell me if I should do one on Logan. I'll just be pretty much freaking the fuck out the whole time and crying. Let me know your thoughts on X-Men, if you love the franchise, if anyone can fucking explain this timeline or if there's an actual video, link a video if there is a timeline explanation video that would help a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.